I'm Abby Peel. Welcome back to your Yankee Chronicle. To keep with the season, let's hear the unique story of a family song round around the Christmas tree. Hi, Ed. The song um, was from my uh, childhood with my parents, Roy and Helen Ely. Um, they loved Christmas very much, and they found the song around around the Christmas tree. They developed it themselves. They enjoyed having people over. My father used to play harmonica. My mother would play the guitar. So it's a musical family. And my mother used to, after my father passed, my mother used to sing it at a lot of the Christmas parties in the family. So Chris sang the song and I recorded it. And I, and I found this uh, composer, a music professional in Concord named William Fletcher. I sent him the file. He took Chris's singing and the written uh, song words and he scored it and transcribed it and he sent it back to me. So I took the score and his musical version file and I filed a copyright application with the, with the federal government. I came across an ad in Kearsar Sharper, which is a local paper here, and it was an ad for Carl uh, Brogan's uh, Sugar River Studio. So I contacted him and uh, we set up a, me a meeting that came here in his studio and told me their story about this uh, wonderful song, uh, Round Around the Christmas Tree, and they asked me if I would be interested in, in finishing up the project uh, musically uh, and um, putting on the lead vocal to the song. Well, they brought me a CD. It had uh, most of the instrumentation on it already. Um, I decided that it would be good to add a few things, so I took an acoustic guitar and added a, that part to it. Um, I took a bass guitar, added that part to it, and I added the sleigh bells at the beginning and the end of the song. And then I mixed it all down, mastered it, and finally I put my lead vocal on there and uh, spent some time uh, because they wanted a certain sound out of the vocal. Spent, I spent some time developing that sound, uh, both in the computer and in myself. Chris and I met with him, and Milana Waker said, oh yeah, I want to find someone that also has a voice like Burl Ives. And I've never thought of myself as a Burl Ives type, but uh, it was really interesting to do, um, to perform the song. Uh, I do get to play the song occasionally, uh, I do solo work at uh, nursing homes and uh, assisted living facilities, as well as playing in a band. So occasionally I get to actually perform the song too. Well, when you listen to the song, it's a wonderful old tune. Uh, they just don't write them like that anymore. And to have something that is an original song, I write original songs myself, and uh, it's a wonderful privilege to have something like that and be asked to, uh, to perform on it. Now we have something to pass on to our, our children and the, our grandchildren. And we hope that other people can find that they enjoy it too. Around, around the Christmas tree, oh how happy we will be. Plenty of toys for you and me. Around, around the Christmas tree, I see a dolly with the curly Ed, what a seasonal delight. 
Next week, your Yankee Chronicle will present our holiday special presenting the 2019 performance by the area choir of their COVID-interrupted annual Christmas concert. Tune in and enjoy. Don't miss our live basketball game of the week at YCNnow.com with replays on WYCX every Sunday and Monday at noon and 5 p.m. This coming week, we will be at Kearsarge as the girls host Hopkinton on Friday at 5.52 p.m. Our games are brought to you by H.R. Clough, LaValle's Building Supply, Barton Insurance, Bubba's Bar and Grill, Montcom Golf Club, and Echo Communications. I'm Abby Peel. Join us in three weeks at this same time for a 2022 edition of Your Yankee Chronicle. Happy holidays and stay safe, everyone.